to that square root of 1 plus cos theta by 1 minus cos theta is equal to cosecant theta plus cot theta. So the left hand side is square root of 1 plus cos theta divided by 1 minus cos theta. Now if we multiply this with a we will multiply this term with 1 minus cos theta and divide it with not 1 minus 1 plus cos theta and divide it with 1 plus cos theta. So we will get square root of 1 plus cos theta into 1 plus cos theta is 1 plus cos theta whole square divided by 1 minus cos theta into 1 plus cos theta will be 1 minus cos square theta. 1 plus cos theta whole square divided by 1 minus cos square theta is sin square theta. So we are getting left hand side value as 1 plus cos theta divided by sin theta. Now writing the denominator individually for each terms we will get 1 by sin theta plus cos theta by sin theta. 1 by sin theta is cosecant theta plus cos theta by sin theta is cot theta which is our RHS hence proved. Now in the next question the left hand side is tan square theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta plus cot square theta divided by 1 plus cot square theta. Tan square theta can be written as sin square theta by cos square theta and 1 plus tan square theta is secant square theta plus cot square theta can be written as cos square theta by sin square theta divided by 1 plus cot square theta is cosecant square theta. So this is equal to sin square theta divided by cos square theta into secant square theta plus cos square theta divided by sin square theta into cosecant square theta. Cos theta into secant theta will be 1 and sin theta into cosecant theta will be 1. So we will be getting sin square theta plus cos square theta and also sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. 1 is the right hand side hence proved. Now in this question we need to prove that tan a plus sin a by tan a minus sin a is equal to secant a plus 1 by secant a minus 1. Here the left hand side is tan a plus sin a divided by tan a minus sin a. Now if we multiply and and divide this with cosecant a we will get tan a into cosecant a is tan a cosecant a is equal to sin a by cos a into 1 by sin a we will get 1 by cos a which is also equal to secant a and also cosecant a into sin a will be 1 so based on these two we will write cosecant a into tan a as secant a plus cosecant a into sin a as 1 divided by cosecant a into tan a again secant a and cosecant a into sin a is minus 1 which is our right hand side. If you have any doubts in these three questions feel free to discuss in the comment section below. Thank you.